everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome we are a collector and hobby channel which unboxes a variety of things and today's video features an Alice in Wonderland haul Alice in Wonderland definitely is one of my primary Disney collections and I've been obsessed with lounge fly bags do I need another one nope but if this one is just a work of art my goodness I also have one of the Alice in Wonderland Funko Pops this is a larger deluxe one and they've recently released that whole line and then I have a little a mystery thing I picked up from Disneyland actually I think there's two things in that bag <laughs> so just a little showcase of Alice in Wonderland. I've seen such beautiful, beautiful videos and pictures on Instagram of a lot of you that collect Alice in Wonderland. And I was just in awe and inspired by collections. And hopefully one day when I get my life together, I can actually display and show you my Alice in Wonderland collection. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we'll take a look at this gorgeous floral themed Alice in Wonderland lounge fly mini backpack. I purchased this directly from the Loungefly store and it sold out rather quickly. I think you might be able to find it secondhand. I'm not sure how often they do the restocks, but this is just such a beautiful bag. Starting from the zipper, which is the white rabbit clock, which I just love. And then in addition to the print design, these flowers here are actually embroidered, which I haven't really seen like cloth and these flowers down here reworked into the, the lounge fly bag itself. These are embroidered up here. And then the art style is just super cute. It has a very like almost Mary Blair vibe to me, um, who is just a, a Disney designer back in the day who was absolutely amazing and can really credit, you know, Small World and those designs to Mary Blair. And then there's a white rabbit, there's a Cheshire Cat. Oh my goodness, this is such a feast for the eyes. It has nice red stitching along the back. And then look at this little cutie. She's doing her little curtsy and it's how curious, which I love that <laughs> little detail. It has the Disney lounge fly tag and then the gold zippers. I like the sort of turquoisey green stitching. It actually goes really well with the pattern theme. Oops, I have all the stuffing inside. I'm curious what the print is. <laughs> I actually haven't looked. And the print is super cute. It has all the little flower motifs and then the cute little Alice where she's in different poses. She's standing there, she's curtsying there. So that is a cute feast for the eyes. It also has the zipper inside. No one wanted twice do. So that's nice. That's a little zipper compartment in there. And then of course it has the front one and then it also has the side pockets, which are nice. So I know Loungefly kind of mixes up their, their compartments, but I really like the design of this one. This one's like super functional and adorable. Next up, let's unbox the Alice with Flowers Deluxe Funko Pop. So this is the larger one that comes on a base. And look at the little flowers have the faces. So colorful, so cute. Such a beautiful scene from the animated movie. This I picked up online from GameStop. They had all the other Alice Funko Pops as part of the newer series that was released. So I figured, why not get them all in one spot? But I've also seen it on Amazon. Um, as well and sometimes Amazon does pre-orders on Funko Pop so that's that's pretty cool okay so I'm gonna open this from the bottom the deluxe ones yeah I believe are taped here but that's okay you can still store them back in the box um, if that's what you prefer and here she is out of the box she's actually very light for for just the size of everything you get because you know they're hollow it feels like the base is hollow too but it's sturdy enough and then all the cute little flowers all their little faces Ooh, that one looks like it's gonna turn on you which which they do but there's just so cute and whimsical and this one's a little flimsy up here so definitely I could see those stems you know, if they're dropped, they, they might snap off. And then she has a super cute pose, her classic outfit. Mine has a little yellow paint right there, which is gonna bug me. Hopefully the magic eraser will take that off. Um, usually their heads turn, but because of the flowers, they, hers does not. So there's no moving, no moving pieces on her. And then she has her cute classic bow, the design in back, and just such a little perfect collectible. And in the scheme of things, you know, a relatively inexpensive, cute collectible that is, is well-themed and goes with the others in the series. 
which the other one I've opened so far is White Rabbit. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be such a cute display. And they did a really great job on him. Um, he was unboxed in a different video, but on the back of his packaging, here are the ones in the new series. So she was a regular one where she's curtsying, which I actually don't have that one. And then this was the deluxe figure from that set. So stay tuned for some unboxings. I have a couple more to open. And then the last item for this haul, I purchased this summer, I feel like maybe it was back in June or July, so it was a little bit ago, but I used to collect Disney pins quite a bit, and of course Alice in Wonderland was one of my, my favorites to collect. So I picked up these, these are a limited edition, and they come on two per, two per card. And then this one's the Jungle Cruise, which you gotta love that. And then look at this adorable Alice in Wonderland for the Mad Teacup. So you have the March Hare and the Mad Hatter riding around. And then look at the White Rabbit. So cute back there. And then this is like a slider pin. And then there's the little King of Hearts, which the White Rabbit's cuter. So we're just gonna leave it displayed like that. But that is just so cute. That is so cute. And that is such a fun ride. Um, <laughs> just a great little set. $19.99. If you have a Magic Key discount, you can use that, which actually comes in really handy. And then you get the bonus. Oh yeah, this is a slider too. Oh, there's a hippo there. I was so excited about the Alice. So the elephant or the hippo. Oh, that's really cute. That was a great series <laughs> for these. And like, you could collect a lot of the different ones. And I guess these card backings would form the castle, um, which I didn't purchase or follow that series but I did pick up this one and then I have one more and then the second one is similar to that it has the two on on the card and then we have the white rabbit and Jiminy Cricket the monstro scene from the Pinocchio attraction which looks really cute and I'm a big monstro fan <laughs> and then Jiminy Cricket moves up and down so that's adorable and then this iconic scene from the Alice in Wonderland ride. So you have again the adorable white rabbit and this one the door opens to Tolji Wood there and then you have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And I love the little signs. Go back. <laughs> and the up, down, this way, that way. Very cute. And out of this series, these were the only two sets that had Alice in Wonderland. Oh my goodness, look at I took this off to see the limited edition. You got a little white rabbit face there. That is so cute. Oh wow, these are pretty limited to a thousand pieces. That's awesome. Um, Disneyland tends to release their new pins on Tuesdays. And what's funny is that I didn't even know they were coming out and we happened to have a reservation that day. So I guess I was in the right place at the right time to pick up these guys. Super cute. Here's another look at everything from our Alice in Wonderland haul. You guys can let me know which was your favorite item from today's video. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Feel free to let me know what Disney items you collect, especially if you gravitate towards a certain movie or maybe an attraction. I always love hearing from you guys. And there's so much Disney stuff out there, you almost have to like have a focus because it's overwhelming and expensive. So definitely moving forward, I'm, I'm sticking with Alice in Wonderland for sure. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also check out my Disney playlist for more collectibles. And I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care, bye-bye.